In the previous tutorial, we talked about View Model Properties and how to use them as conditions in the state machine. However, we can also use inputs as conditions as well. Inputs are like the view model properties much simpler cousin. You only get three options number, boolean, and trigger. And just like view model properties, you can use inputs as conditions in the state machine. However, unlike view model properties, inputs can only be used as a condition on the artboard that they were created in, whereas view model properties can be used across artboards. So we no longer recommend using inputs in your runtime code, since as you'll see in later tutorials, data binding and its view model properties are a much more powerful and flexible workflow for both designers and developers.